Hey guys, um, apparently I was just in the middle of a mission, and I'm getting ready to fight Scarecrow, so I'm gonna have to, like, do this in an awkward way. Uh, I'm not gonna be in the Hall of Doom or anything like that. Um, this is my ice character. Um, ice is actually, fun fact, one of my favorite elements, if you haven't learned that in my old video. I really do like ice in pretty much any game. Um, you'll probably see, if there's an opportunity to play as an ice type character, I will most likely try it, and if I like it, you will see me play it quite a bit. I wonder what that is. I'm getting off topic. Probably something for DLC that I don't have yet. Um, so ice is the tank role, and like I said, it's more of a defense, not really much of a damage. I mean, you can use it for damage, but it's more like support, defense, basically freeze enemies, slow them down, reduce their defense, and then just basically tank up and deal as much damage as possible without dying. So here's its powers. Uh, I think I can't remember what that power is called. Um, but I do know it freezes people and it roots them. Deals pretty good damage. That is your ongoing ice attack. I can't remember. It pretty, I'm pretty sure it does frostbite damage. I'm not sure. Alright, now this power is very interesting. It has a very good cooldown and it does area of effect damage. But if you keep spamming it, which I'm going to show you, it, it has quite a bit of cooldown. I'm sorry. I apologize. I think it's three times. But as you can see, like the icicles around me keep getting like bigger. Uh, one more time, I'm, I'm guessing that should be able to go. This is basically one of the main powers that you're probably going to want. Okay, maybe one more time. I don't know if I need to hit enemies or not, but I do know if you use it enough times, you'll uh, do something actually pretty cool. And I need power, so... Yeah. I need to wait for regeneration. My restoration and vitality is not that... I'm just going to take a drink. I have enough of them as it is. Alright, well, I think I need to hit enemies for it. Basically, what this does is, um... After you hit a certain amount of enemies, I'm guessing, you transform into this ice type thing. And, uh, your defense and your attack is greatly increased. There we go. So it's five times. Um, the male character looks different too. This is what the ice character looks like. You still do the same thing, but I think your overall, yeah, your, your type of fighting gets, unless I'm brawling, I can't remember. Double check. Yeah. I'm a brawling type character, so that's why I'm, I'm so slow. I like brawling because it's somewhat fast and it deals quite a bit of damage. Um, when you transform into this, you get quite a bit of a regeneration. It makes you mean, I think, to rooted in all types of frost type things. I think burning can transform you right back. I, I can't remember. But yeah, I already wasted two minutes talking about that and trying to get you to show you that. So, on to this. Powers. Uh, you have storms and chirogenics. Powers. Um, I haven't really dabbled with ice a lot. I think I reached level 12 and I re and I stopped and respect with a different type of character to redo this one. Mostly because I just, I don't know, just didn't really seem like I really wanted to deal with it. Um, and Gulston, I mean, others nearby, dragging them towards you. I, yeah, this is the thing. And like, after a while, it'll transform you. Um, oh no, 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 this is the drag power, I think. Is it? Yeah, this is the drag power. Sorry, I wanted to make sure so I'm not talking like crazy. Um, this one's the other power where you shoot a lot of frigid air. It, I think it deals three to four hits per everything. And both these do frostbite damage, which basically I think it lets you deal more damage the harder, like the more frozen they are. Um, yeah, I, it's been a while since I used this. I'm gonna try to remember. Um, scours enemies with a whirling aura, wind, ice, and prevents damage for a short time. Uh, tank roll, 10% control resistance. I can't remember what this is called, but, um, I might get this. I'm gonna go through all the, like I said, the powers that I haven't really gone into, I will be doing, um, I will definitely be doing a re-update, and you'll be seeing the, the blizzard. Stuns and encases enemies in a widespread icy storm that inflicts extreme damage. I have seen people use this. It's actually very cool and useful. Deep freeze encases enemy in a block of ice. Um... The supercharge really isn't worth it, but uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. But um, I mean, you can use it if you want. But it, I think this is one of the very few powers you can use to crush people with ice. Uh, Wintry Tempest summons a fierce local less storm to damage nearby enemies. I have seen people use this, and it, it's actually very useful. Um, I might get it. I don't know yet. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, Glacier Flash. Fires a beam of intense cold at enemies. This is basically like this power, Arctic 
um, dust, I think. It's just more control and more damage, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I, it's more like a combination of these two put together. And, uh, yeah, it's actually very useful because they encase your enemies. Like, you have a, ice, you have so many types of encasing, that's why I said don't usually go for this one. I mean, it crushes your enemies, but that's basically what you're getting out of it. Avalanche, barrage an enemy with an onslaught of ice and snow. I'm not entirely sure if I've seen this, but you get 60% damage if you stay on damage roll, which is actually pretty ridiculous. I think it's the highest I've ever seen a damage your input go. But, um, I guess it goes with whatever. Uh, next power. Um, Resonating Gale, summons a blast of destructive tornado strength winds. Enemies encased by ice, nature, mental, light, earth, or gadgets take heavy damage. This is more like an element type attack. Um, it's very interesting. <laughs> I, I have never used this before, but it's whatever. I'll probably use it, most likely. Freeze wave. I have seen people use this. It's not that great to me. Um, it knocks them down. Probably the only thing I'm going to use about it, but hey, who knows? I'm an improviser. Uh, shattering restraints? I think that's what you said. I, I can't really see. This does immunity against control effects to rinse enemies. Oh, yeah, this isn't. Yeah. Besides, if you stay damage real, you'll get extra damage, but you know, other than that, I don't really see myself using this that much. Uh, Snow Devil summons a chaotic melee resistant Snow Devil to assault. I think this is the uh, upgraded version of the. Uh, oh, no, this is a summon. Never mind. This isn't a transformation. This is basically like. Uh, what's the proper way to say it? Um, mm, I can't really, I, I don't know, I, I never used this before, but I can't, I've seen people use it. It's kind of, com it's not complicated, it's more like, I would have to use it to give you a better understanding of it. I'll get back to you guys on that one, for sure, because ice is dead, I'm definitely going to work with this. Um, Pumlets your body temperature. Damaging nearby enemies and reflecting additional damage back to you at your attackers when they strike you. Grants chill effect, gaining 5. Consecutive chill effect activates ice armor. And then when you're in tank roll, you get control resistance. And when you're in the ice thing, you get 35% damage. Um, yeah, you can do quite a bit of cryogenics. Uh, here's, I'm just going to go with the uh, supercharges. Hibernation. It heals you, deflects... Heals you, deflecting damage, protective ice block, and quickly heals you while deflecting damage. Yeah, it's very... I, I'm gonna get this one. I, I, I have used this once, and it actually does come to me. Broadcast an absolute zero beam that encases enemy and causes extra, extreme numbers to enemy. I don't know, because it's just one enemy. I I like AoE when it comes to tank rolls, but uh, who knows. Ice Bash imbues your attacks with the power of ice to cause more damage. Grants chill effect. So this is more like an upgrade version of this. Getting, yeah, this is like uh, an extra upgrade. Uh, I think this one probably does more damage and you probably get more um, armor out of it, but I don't know. Reflection directs damage from uh, directs damage from the next three attackers back to your attacker. That might come in handy. And activates ice armor again. Uh, oh, this is a supercharge. Transforms you into an uh, embodiment an even, uh, wow, embodiment of ice power greatly enhancing all specific stats, providing weapon combos, and so this is basically like a transformation that you can do with nature and stuff like that. You can just, uh, yeah, you, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. For anyone who knows what I'm talking about, and uh, I'll get on that with nature later. I don't really like nature. Snowball, he's a, okay, this is actually very interesting. You can root enemies, take, or you can, you know, that. Rooted enemies take double damage. After three or more chill effects, the snowball will explode, and so basically, you can either throw it at people or you can immediately chill them three times with whatever power you want, and then bam, you can deal mad damage. Uh, I don't know if there's an AOE on it after it explodes. I probably have to test that out. I don't know. Frost blast stuns, damages, and knocks down enemies with a torrent of jagged ice shards. Rooted, burning, while frostbitten, and large enemies take additional damage. So this is... I might get this, I don't know. The skill tree is actually sounding very interesting to me. Except the snowball. I'm probably not... I'm not gonna like getting that. Impaling ice heavily damages and knocks down enemies with a vicious shards of ice with, uh... Enemies at 35% of... Okay. 
So ba this is exactly why I said it's more like a tankish defense role. I mean, yes, you get quite a bit of damage for um, staying at your DPS, but there's just so many like special like type of ice, like knockdowns and stuff. But I don't know. I'll have to doubt with it. I do remember staying a defensive tank most of the time with this character. Or my one character that I made a long time ago. Uh, Frost Snipe. Pierces an enemy with a lightning blast of freezing energy. I did use this. Um, you don't get the, you do get chill effects, but you do not get the armor from this. It's, uh, more like a very powerful far range type of attack, but, and I don't think it has any travel time. I think you immediately just hit, so it really all depends. Um, Ice Boulder creates a huge throwable ice chunk. Okay, I got the, these two fires mixed up, I was gonna say. I think this just freezes people, and then this, you, like, call down and like smash one person with it and you can pick it up, you can smash it again or you can throw it at people. So I got those two confused, my bad. Sorry. Uh, fire has one too, but I'll get on that later. Liberate two from control effects prevents you... Yeah, liberate three... <coughs> Excuse me, liberate three members from control type attacks. I'm probably not going to get that because you don't really get rooted. I mean, if you get rooted, that big deal. You're going to have to wait a few seconds before you can activate your movement power. I mean, if you get stunned, then you're going to have to waste some power to get the R1 back, or you're going to need to wait. So, either way. I mean, if you have a good healer, you necessarily don't need to worry about dying if you're stunned. And if you do, a lot of people can usually just heal you anyway. Most of the times. You know, I'm not going to... Don't hold me against that. I mean, if you go down when you're fighting a bounty or a boss, you're most likely going to die. I'm sorry. But, uh... Yeah, I think those are all the guys' powers. So, um... Just to get this out of the way, I think Ice is more of a defense role. I could be completely wrong. Uh, after reading those abilities, I think, like, whoa, I'm kind of wrong here. So, I will have to get back to you guys on that one. I'm really curious what that purple thing is, but there's a lot of DLC out there where I die. And if I go to random lights that aren't safe house or side missions, so I'm going to stay away from it. Um, so, yeah. That was, uh, Ice. Ice is very cool. I really do like the graphics for Ice, and I do like the uh, I do like the fact that I can slow people down and weaken their all their crap. It's actually quite nice. So yeah, I will do, be doing fire next. I'll be talking about earth and like I think I'll do earth and electricity later when I have my friend with me. I'll probably have him get on his mic or we'll get on Skype or something, and uh, we'll probably do that later. Uh, Next up is fire and then nature. We have to do it the old fashioned way. I might make a character just for you guys just so you can see the abilities, but I don't know. I already explained the gist of it, and I'll probably do that next video anyway, just to make it longer because fire isn't really much of a big deal. Basically, you deal mad fire damage. And, uh, yeah. I think there's. Uh, I'm rambling again. I'm gonna stop now because ice, not fire. See you guys next time.